Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 film 64 here, excuse me. And I I decided to redo my core movie collection. This is a redone version because I the first time I did this I realized I forgot a couple. So let's get this started. Let's start with the three VHS tapes. Twilight Zone the movie. The Exorcist. The Fog 2005 remake. Now to the Blu-rays. Insidious, The Last Key. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I'll talk about some of these horror movies, but not all of them. Because I want to do, do this quick. Halloween 2018. Probably my favorite Halloween sequel. My favorite Halloween sequel since H2O Halloween. Even though I saw Halloween H2O after this movie. I can't wait for Halloween Kills. The Grudge 2020 movie. The only reason why I'm keeping this is because this was a gift from my mom for my 19th birthday last year. Even though this movie is def is definitely terrible. The la the jump scares are just too overrated. I didn't I just thought this movie was overrated. I did not enjoy this movie at all, but I will keep it because it was a free gift from my friend from my mom. Actually from my mom who's also my best friend. Don't judge me. Gretel and Hansel. This is a really great movie. I hope I don't get hate for owning the 2020 Grudge movie. Next up, I got The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2. Both Best Buy exclusive lenticulars. Yeah, the eyes move, which is creepy. I found these at the very last Blockbuster for like $12.99 a piece. They were, I definitely paid a little bit more than I wanted to. And the last horror movie I have on Blu-ray is It Chapter 2. Now to these next two horror movies I got recently. I was considering counting the movie, the 2019 Hellboy movie, but it's, it, it doesn't count. And I, the, on my last, the last time I did my horror movie collection, I did include the movie Freaks. Which that was, I included it by mistake. I got Child's Play, the 2019 remake. Not that bad. I enjoyed the I enjoyed the original more. Candyman, great movie. I hope to get the two sequels. Even though two wasn't Candyman Farewell to the Flesh was not great, but I and I heard Day of the Dead was god awful. The Belko Experiment, it, all right movie. Dominion the prequel to The Exorcist, Exorcist the beginning. Heard this movie was god awful. Sweeney Todd, Demon Barber of Lee Street with Johnny Depp. Probably my favorite Tim Burton film. Next to Beetlejuice. A Quiet Place. This one I put in a blob of case. Yeah, I can't wait to get Quiet Place Part 2 on Blu-ray. I'm probably going to upgrade the Quiet Place to the Blu-ray. I got The Crescent, Memory, and Hindsight. and contains two bonus movies. I got this set because one of the movies, Memory... Actually has the late Dennis Hopper, so I'm going to watch that one. These next two are my only shark movies I have. I used to have Jaws on VHS, but the, the tape was very damaged. Shark Lake with uh, Dunlop Lundgren. Pretty interesting movie. It's not the greatest. I got the Shark Bait 6 Killer Shark Films collection from Mill Creek Entertainment. Well, the DVD of Shark Lake is from Screen Media. Yeah, and includes a both a bonus seventh bite to sink your teeth into. And one of the movies, Ghost Shark, actually has cool jitter in it. So I'm glad I got it. Darkness with Anna Paquin. I heard I haven't heard many great things about this movie. I haven't heard anything about this movie, but I got it because it's a horror film. The others, this movie I have not seen, but I'm planning on watching it someday. I'm very I don't I'm very disappointed that they're remaking this. Even though I haven't seen the movie, but I really want to. Happy Death Day to you. I was debating leaving this out of my collection, but this is a horror movie. But to be honest, this movie felt like a romantic comedy. And I and no, I know I'm not hating on romantic comedies, but this movie is supposed to be a horror movie. And it wasn't really that scary at all. White Noise, I have not seen it. Don't Breathe, one of the best horror movies of the past Five years. Really, really great movie. Probably my favorite horror movie of 2016. Insidious. Really great movie. It proves that 
James Wan can do a horror movie, can do a movie of any genre. And yeah, and this, this for a PG-13 rated horror movie, this movie was actually scary as hell. It was pretty damn scary. Excuse my language. Insidious Chapter 2. I did show Insidious The Last Key. That movie was okay. Insidious 3 was mediocre, but I really want to get the third one on either DVD or Blu-ray. This one wasn't as good as the original, but I enjoyed it. Zombieland. I'm also going to count this movie. This is not the only time I'm going to count this in the movie collection. I counted this in my Sony Pictures Home Entertainment DVD collection. DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K collection. But I'm also going to count this in my comedy collection when I do it eventually. I can't wait for Zombieland Double Tap. I can't wait to get Zombieland Double Tap. This is a great movie, so I bet the sequel is good too. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. I have not seen this movie. I've seen bits and pieces of it. It's based on a true story. And this is the theatrical cut on DVD, which is, in my opinion, really rare to find. Because most copies of this DVD, this movie... This is this cut of the film, this cut of The Exorcism of Emily Rose, did not get a VHS, a VHS release. Only the unrated version got a VHS release. So yeah, this is directed by Scott Derrickson. I've, I've, heard, I've never heard of Scott Derrickson, but I really want to watch this movie. The Grudge 2004 movie. I haven't seen this movie, but I plan to. And I'm going to do this quick so I don't get interrupted. The Messenger is pretty underrated horror movie. I'd probably need to rewatch it. Resident Evil Apocalypse. I can't wait for the new Resident Evil movie. Underworld. I hope to get the other Underworld movies. Constantine with Keanu Reeves. I previously counted this in my Keanu Reeves movie collection. We have four more horror movies left. I got Blade, Blade 2, and Blade Trinity. The first one is great second one I enjoyed more than the original and Blade Trinity it was a, was mediocre and the first Blade movie is directed by Stephen Norrington while Guillermo del Toro was the director of Blade 2 and David S. Goyer directed Blade Trinity and the last horror movie I have in my collection is a very underrated horror movie that you guys should definitely check out it sounds more like a thriller but I counting, I'm counting. i counted as a horror movie. It does have scary... It's a ghost movie. Gothica. Probably one of my favorite ghost movies of all time. Really, really great movie. And it's produced by Robert Zemeckis. Who directed the movie What Lies Beneath. Which I haven't seen, but I really want to see it. This has a nice lenticular slipcover. Just like The Conjuring 1 and 2. If you guys haven't seen Gothica, this is a great movie. I really enjoyed this movie. It doesn't get the... the it doesn't deserve all the hate. It's a really, really underrated horror film. And I'm starting to become a fan of ghost movies. Ever since seeing the movie Ghost. Which made, which freaked me out as a child. This is a really great movie. So yeah, that is it for my entire horror movie collection. Which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe. Plus it really helps out. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Which will be my Nicolas Cage movie collection. So I'll see you guys then. Adios.